Hi everyone, my name is Anne-Marie. Welcome to this card making project. In this project we're going to make a gorgeous card using lots of anagriffing items. But we're going to do a really cool technique with our sentiment die and stamp set that hopefully will make you look at your other stamps and dies that you've got maybe a little bit differently thinking that they are versatile and think outside the box a little bit. Everything I do use, I shall put in a detailed list on my blog. There'll always be the extra photos on there, so please check it out. There's lots of other projects as well there. You can always share my projects, and you can always comment for a reply on Facebook and on my blog. I can't reply to you on YouTube. Okay, let's craft. Now the housekeeping's over. So the first thing you're going to need is your base card. Now this is a 7 by 5 inch card, it's just an ivory, normal, run of the mill, um, ivory 7 by 5 card. Or for my friends across the pond, 5 by 7. Get with it, they're 7 by 5s. <laughs> so, you've just seen me use my bone folder to make sure I've got a nice sharp edge along the side. And uh, don't worry about this mark here. Why I've put it on the base card, I have no idea. But, you know, I must have had a reason when I did it. So, the first thing we're going to do is the inside of our card. Now, this, I think, is a very quick and simple insert. Um, and it's something that you could maybe do if you rush in or you've just got a card that you have to make last minute. So, it's a great idea for um, quick inserts. I've taken a piece of navy cardstock from Anna's Perfect Palette 1. So I'm teaming up new products with old products because we all have them in our stash and you know after we've stroked them for so long we do sometimes think oh we've got to use that. So this was the perfect palette one from a few years ago. Next, I've taken a piece of ivory cardstock and with a navy blue ink pad, I've stamped around the edge using one of the sentiment stamps from the sentiment stamp and die set. And all I've done is I stamped it first in one corner and then I stamped the sentiment and then I took the edge stamp because they're separate in the set and I simply carried on around the edge. Now, instead of cutting it all out, I cut away side of the card, um, sorry, side of the insert layer against the stamp, and then I cut in at the other corner to make it kind of angled, something a little bit different that we don't tend to do. So this is a nice quick one for your insert, and you've still got lots of room for your message, you know, to, from, etc. So that is a real, really clean um, and professional looking, I suppose that's what I'm trying to say, insert, especially with the navy blue, because navy blue and ivory always works so well. We, I don't think we use it half enough, really. So that's our insert, and that's going to match gorgeously with our outside. So I'm just going to use my bone folder again. Now I've done the inside to make sure that that score is nice and nice and neat. So our first layer for the outside is from the Charlotte collection. And I've cut a layer to fit the outside of the card. And I know you're looking at the screen and you're thinking, well, Marie, there's a hole in it. There is a hole in it. And I've actually cut that hole there um, for later on in the project because I didn't want it all to go to waste underneath and uh, covered up. So I thought I'll take that little cutting that I need out of that section because you will not know when it's covered over. You will not have a clue that I've taken that circle and cut it away. So we add our first layer to the card and that was on flat tape and then our next layer is a layer that I've stamped using the same stamp that we used for the inside 
but I've used the technique that we used a few, um, I'd, well, probably months ago now, time just flies, and I've stamped around the edge, and then I've just cut in to where I've stamped to cut away that section. And I've used a piece of scrap card, which was the other half of a card front that we used in a previous project. And it was one of Anna's from her card kits. So just that shows, you know, I don't waste anything. My scrap box is overflowing. And it is, it's enormous, just thinking about it, going off track there. Yes, I have a massive scrap box. Okay, so I'm placing this over the top of our previous layer, like that. So, at the moment we've got all flat layers. But they don't look flat, but they are. It's very deceiving sometimes. So, next I've used the fretwork... Um, one die set and I've cut out a gorgeous die cut in navy blue from again the perfect palette and I've just added a little bit of tape on it so that it's going to hold onto our base so I'm just peeling my tape away and there we go last piece oh no not last piece that's the last piece there we go and now we can position this over our previous layer. Now, a happy accident here. When I stamped um, this layer and cut it out, I hadn't die cut this yet. I stamped it all and I cut it out and I put the layer, you know, on top of the Charlotte paper. And then I thought, oh yeah, well, we'll cut this as well. And then I thought, oh, Look how well it fits. It just fits as if it's made for that edging. And you can see as that pattern is peeping out from around the edge, it just looks like it's been made for each other. So, next, moving on. This is our going to be our technique. Now, what I've done is... I've stamped using the sentiment, I'm going to move that out of the way so you can see, the same stamp that I've used for the edges from the sentiment and stamp die set. And I've stamped it three times in a row. I've cut out, die cut the centres from with the die that's in the set. And then I've just trimmed around the edge. I've got 3D foam on the back of it. And then I've taken a scrap of cardstock. Now I've used the same Charlotte paper that we used in the first layer. And this is roughly um, two centimetres wide. You could go a little bit wider. And then all I'm going to do oops, is thread the paper through the holes that I've stamped like so to make it kind of waved like that. Now I've already got 3D foam on the back and all I'm going to do I'm just going to add a little bit of um, tape runner just to hold it in place so that I can position it. There we go. There. So now we can add this to our project. And I'm going to roughly add it about there, I would say. Now I've gone ahead and made another one. And I'm going to add this the opposite way round to our card like that. That was on 3D foam as well. And now I'm just going to trim the top of those away um, just to make it nice and neat. There we go. Now I've got one for the centre. 
and you can see this is slightly different. I've die cut two of the holes at either side, still stamped it three times, but the middle one I haven't die cut. And I'm going to overlap the middle one over the two at the sides. And I'm going to just check that they don't need trimming. I think it does at the bottom, just slightly. Bear with me. There we go. I know the trimming bit, I might go off camera. I'm sorry, I'm just, you know, because I'm looking what I'm doing. I'm not looking through the camera. So that's our third, it's kind of like a circle weave. So we don't have to have it straight. It doesn't have to be in line. But next we're going to add a circle of ivory and there we go circle of ivory Gee, I, honestly I've hit 50 and my brain has just gone <laughs> so a circle of navy card from the perfect palette and then I've got the circle that we took and cut from the first layer that we added to the card this is on flat tape and I'm going to add that to our blue circle. And this is the sentiment that we've used for the insert that matches the actual ornate stamp. Just for you. I've stamped that on ivory card in the same blue ink that we've used for the circles. And then I'm going to finish this off with a little ivory bow like that. And that is our card finished. Paper crafting at its best. Something a little bit different. All those layers, it looks like you've spent so much time on them, but believe me, they are so quick to do. You've simply stamped three times, die cut the circles out the middle, trimmed it, and then cut out the paper to thread through it. Matches perfectly to the inside with our stamping. Stands up nicely, definitely on the mantelpiece. You might need a little bit of protection in the envelope if you're posting. Shouldn't be too much, but you've got a couple of layers on there. And what a pretty card. The colours are great, the navy blue and the turquoise and the pink, and it just all, oh, it's worked even better than I could have possibly imagined when I prepped it. And I'm so happy with that. Anybody would love to receive that. I do hope you've enjoyed watching. I hope you enjoy all my projects because I love making them. And I love showing you different ideas with um, Anna's products. Because I think sometimes, you know, it's great to open something and use it as it is. But then it's nice to think outside the box. And to be able to push the boundaries a little bit. So, and hopefully I do that sometimes. So I'd just like to say thank you so much for watching and I shall see you next time.